somebody has just woken up. Spring must be on its way. <laughs> Chickens have stopped laying eggs as well. There you go, we've got two today. Brilliant. Small eggs, but it's only small chickens. You're picking bantams. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Sun is shining. Collect eggs. Matilda Daughters is out. Fish are doing well. <sighs> Makes you appreciate how lucky we are in this country. We are peace. <laughs> we can enjoy everything we've got. Oh. I don't know if I've ever shown uh, my two little guys there, who are my two little girls. They are six. So this is Storm and this is Cloud. Both six years old. They are sisters. Chinchillas. But the covers are still around the pond. I am not gonna remove them now. There's no point. The temperature of the pond is still just at 11. Um, I have opened the little windows when it's really, really a really good day. But um, yeah, otherwise I think it's gonna stay here probably until April, end of April. We'll see. I've just done a massive water change and the, uh, cleaning all the filters, so I've just done the easy pod, I've just done the multi bay fully, uh, so that is now topping up. Fish are doing well, everybody's eating. I've only stopped feeding completely for 10 days in total. They're super active um, and they start feeding them twice a day. So talking about food. I was very fortunate to have a fantastic conversation with uh, Mike, the founder of ProBytes, um, and he has kindly agreed to provide me with a bag of uh, winter care and a bag of um, chlorella and a uh, two kilo bag of Breed Secret, which is the clay from ProBytes. Um, so there you go. So this, the ProBytes for winter care is the sinking food. Uh, the chlorella, this one I've taken the um, the uh, floating pellets and here the clay, you all know what the clay is. So um, I'm going to be doing this trial for a year, minimum a year, and if I see that the koi are doing fantastically well then I would have no reason to change. So I just want to thank Mike again for your time and all the conversation that we have had. It's been definitely an eye opener on the kind of food um, that I've been using in the past and uh, what you look for uh, in the koi with the food that we are feeding uh, and certainly give me a lot of food th for thoughts um, regarding the wheat germ so I just want to thank you Mike for that it's been absolutely amazing and I just want to thank as well Gary from Get With Koi for sending me all this um, via Mike um, and I just want to thank you boys for all your help on that so the fish have been now on this food and this food only, so on ProBytes, um, they've been on it for three weeks now. Um, it was a bit of a change for me because this is the winter food from them is only uh, sinking pellets and I rarely, rarely give sinking pellets um, except in summer where I do a mix. Um, so, but they've progressively got used to it and now they absolutely go mental for it and I do have to say and I am not saying that because Mike uh, provided me with those uh, this bag um, they first absolutely love it but there's a significant amount of uh, of um, change in um, in the amount of waste should I say definitely less waste uh, that is for sure. Uh, I can check that when I clean the uh, 
when I clean the easy pod and there's barely anything coming out now and uh, it's in the multi bay that I would normally see the most of the of the, uh, of the poo settling uh, and I've had barely any uh, barely anyway so I'm super chuffed with that food so far the fish are doing super well on it at the moment they're staying on the winter care uh, because as I said my pond is still at 11 so the reason why I wanted to change food especially for the winter it's because after listening several times um, Ricky uh, from Koi Wholesale and uh, I think it was the pond advisor who was talking about weed germ and not feeding weed germ even at low temperature there are some uh, special design food now uh, you've seen my video um, about the nutrition where I said that the technology and the science and the research behind the food has definitely um, massively changed um, and after listening to them not using wood germ I start looking into another food in their research for a uh, better winter food, there were some really important criteria that um, I wanted to absolutely stick to. Uh, the first one and my main one was the protein source. It needed to be a, so uh, a, f a food that was uh, made from fish meal and definitely not poultry meal. Uh, my other two main food, uh, which is Saki, Gary and the JPD, um, are made of uh, of creel and uh, fish food and that's the reason why I'm using them the second one was uh, based on the price uh, it had to align with uh, the price I was already paying the Saki carry and the JPD uh, so the Saki carry growth to give you an example for a bag of two kilos is around the 47 pound mark and the um, pro bites three kilos is exactly at the same price around the 47 pound mark so here i'm gaining one kilo of food um, for um for the same price um the third one i had to find two or three people who were using uh that specific food uh, and a non wheat germ food um luckily i made some contacts at the national show last year so um i was able to um to talk to them about it and uh, two of them were using probites and probites only the fourth one and the last one was i needed to have a food that way was easy to buy uh, i had found one in france that i was ready to uh, to try but being out of the eu mean, meant that the um the colossal import tax uh, and i wasn't prepared to do that so based on those criteria, came along probites, um, and this is when I got in contact with um, the founder Mike, the founder of Probites, um, who gave me a ton of information. Uh, we had some wonderful emails, exchange of emails, and he dedicated his time, and and I was so so appreciative. So I have taken his challenge. Uh, which means that I will go against what I normally do, which is mixing uh, the three best foods that I like. Um, and I will be staying on ProBytes for a year uh, to see what, um, what the core, how the core do, really. And if they are doing really, really well, then there will be no, no, uh, no reason for me to change. ProBytes is at the top uh, of the, on, the, on the food market, We're, along with Saki Hikari and uh so yeah they do they adapt they the food based on the seasons and this is what we'll be doing um for a year now so mike has kindly sent me um the winter care as you've seen earlier and the chlorella what i'm going to do is direct it to put a link and redirect to the interview that the koi partner ivo um did with mike uh, regarding probites and it's super interesting to uh, to listen uh, and it certainly makes you think and helps you to understand exactly what's going on in the food markets